All right, so let's go over some terms um, that you'll be dealing with when you do statistics. Um, this is cool stuff. Uh, sometimes these words can be confusing to people, and that's okay. Um, I'll try to shed some light on this. But know that some of these words are, are um, used in different ways by different people in different places. So if it's a little bit confusing, that's okay. Um, and um, I've got these birds up here. Just because, uh, for me, that's a metaphor for what statistics is about. Um, you've got all these these birds, thousands of them. And it's hard to keep track of any one individual bird. But overall, this swarm of birds, you can you can see its shape. You can see the direction it's going. You can see how it behaves as a, as an entire swarm. And that's what you're trying to do with, with statistics. You've got a bunch of um, data, and it might be hard to make sense of that data looking at each individual data point. But... Using statistics, you get a general sense of the the big picture, the trends, the uh, shape of the data, the way it behaves. So that's what we're doing when we do um, statistics. And so let's go over some of the um, some of the key terms of um, statistics. And these are kind of a setup for when you do bo um, box and whisker plots. So you'll you'll need to know these terms before you get into the, to those kinds of plots. So um, first of all, a quartile. All right, so we've got this set of data. Um, two, three, five, nine, who knows what they're measuring. Let's just say um, these are the number of cupcakes I ate in the last, I don't know, several days. Two cupcakes, three, I don't know, that's too many cupcakes. How many, how about that's the number of almonds I ate um, over the last several days. Okay, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, and this set of data is in order, so it goes from um, uh, least to greatest. So two, three, five, nine, twelve, nineteen, etc. Okay, so I've got this set of data here. Um, and a quartile is one of three numbers which split a data set into four groups. So um, if I've got a number here and a number here and a number here and I just chop my data set with these numbers, I, I, I cut it three times. Cut, cut, cut. And by doing that, I cut it into four pieces. Uh, one piece, two pieces, three pieces, four pieces. So that's where the name quartile comes from. Quart uh, means four. It's kind of like cuatro in Spanish would be related. Okay, so it's one of these three numbers which split a data set into four, four groups. Okay, um, so that's one way the word quartile is used. Uh, another way people use the word quartile is when they're actually talking about one of those four sections. Um, into which the data set is cut. So I could call uh, this number, um, there's an invisible number 7 there, that's the that's the uh, lower quartile, which I'll explain in a second. Um, so this number is a quartile, this number is a quartile, 23, and this number is a quartile, uh, 30.5, that's in between these two numbers. Um, I could call those quartiles, those one of those three numbers that splits this data set into four groups. Or I could call one of the groups a quartile. So this whole thing, you know, these three no these three numbers are the lower quartile. Uh, these three numbers are the lower middle quartile, I think is what that's called. Um, and then we've got the upper middle quartile, and then the upper quartile. Okay, so th those are two different ways in which people use the word quartile. E either the, the specific numbers themselves that cut up data into four pieces or um, you know those f those four pieces themselves those four ranges all right so those are quartiles so let's talk about um, first of all how, I mean where do these where do you get these quartiles where they come from um, so what you do, you start with the median of the data set which is the middle number so um, 23 is the median of this data set because I've got one two three four five six numbers below it and one, two, three, four, five, six numbers above it. It's the number that cuts this thing in half. All right, the upper quartile, in this case I'm using that in the sense of a specific number, um, is the number, is the median of the upper half of the data set. So take the median of the whole data set and that's, um, uh, yeah, the median of the whole data set and we could call that uh, the second quartile or Q2. People like to abbreviate that. So Q1 is the first quartile or the lower quartile. Q2, the median of the data set or second quartile. Q3, 
the upper quartile or the third quartile. Um, so, so you start with Q2, uh, the median of the whole data set, and that chops it in half. And then you take the upper half and you chop it in half. You find the median of the upper half of the um, of the data set. So uh, that would be Q3 or the third quartile um, or the upper quartile. Um, and again, you can also call uh, this this fourth uh, range of data um, the upper quartile. So the upper quartile or the third quartile, Q3, is either that number, which is the median of the upper half of the data. In this case, it's 30.5 because uh, I don't have I have an e I have an even number of numbers here. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. If there are seven, it, you know, it'd be obvious what the middle uh, or the median would be. Since I've got an even number, I've got to take the two middle numbers now um, and then just find the mean of those. That's 30.5. So 30.5 is my median. Okay, so um, Q3 or the upper quartile is either that number, 30.5, um, or you can or you can call this all these numbers up here which uh, in this fourth section, the upper quartile. Okay, the lower quartile is the median of the lower half of the data, um, or, or the uh, section cut off by, the lowest section cut off by the median of the lower half of the data. Um, and then you've got what's called the interquartile range. Inter means kind of in between, and then so it's, it's the range in between the upper and lower quartiles. So, and, and in that case, they're talking about the actual numbers. So um, the range that's defined by th uh, Q3 at the top, 30.5, to um, the median of the lower half of the data, which is 7 in this case. So that range from, from that lower quartile to the upper quartile is called the interquartile range. So that's, uh, that's a lot of um, statistics words, and some of them are used in different ways, and that's fine. But now, you, I don't know, you'll be able to impress your friends talking about lower and upper quartiles and interquartile ra quartile ranges and Q1, Q2. I mean, it's, it's high-level stuff. It's fun stuff. So enjoy.